Okay, we're going to make um, conversions from units of mass in the metric system here, trying to make an understanding of how many grams in a ton, etc. So, the first thing to keep in mind is that grams are pretty small. Those, that's about the weight of one paper clip. And ton would be something really, really massive, like a large truck. And there's all these different things that we can measure depending on the scale, but you can make conversions between all of them to get equivalent numbers. So, one thing that you're going to want to do is try to memorize this in your head or write it out for yourself so that you always have it. That there are, if you want to think about this, 1,000 milligrams in one gram. And there's 1,000 grams in one kilogram. And there's 1,000 kilograms in one ton. So between each of these, there's a factor of 1,000. If I have 1,000 milligrams, I'll have one gram. If I have 1,000 grams, I'll have one kilogram. And if I have 1,000 kilograms, I'll have one ton. So, if we're converting, in this first case, from 300 grams to kilograms, I want to go from grams up to kilograms. That's that system there. So here, because I know there's a thousand grams in one kilogram, I actually need to divide it. So my answer here would be 300 divided by 1,000. And that is 0 0.3 of a kilogram. And that should make sense. It's not yet one whole gram kilogram because it's only 300 grams and I need a thousand grams to get one kilogram. So it should be smaller, it should be 0.3 of a kilogram. Looking at the next one, converting 40 kgs, 40 kilograms, into grams, that's going the other way around. 40 kgs into grams. So here, I need to be timesing by a thousand, because I'm going from a bigger, kgs are bigger, into something smaller. And so that's going to be 40 times 1,000, which is equal to 40,000 grams. So 40 kgs, knowing that there's 1,000 grams in every kg, is going to give me 40,000 grams. I times as I go from the larger unit down to the smaller unit. Because there's a lot more of those smaller grams inside of one kilogram. So you'd expect your answer to get to be more of something. Looking at the next one, convert 2.3 tons into milligrams. So this is a long way around. Let's take a look how that works out. So if I want to convert 2.3 tons into milligrams, I need to go from tons to kgs to grams to milligrams. And every time I take one of those steps, I'm going to times by a thousand. So it's going to be get to be a pretty big number. So that'll be 2.3 times by 1,000, times by 1,000, times by 1,000. And that's because there's 1,000 kilograms in one ton, there's 1,000 grams in one kilogram, and there's 1,000 milligrams in one gram. So we'll end up with a large number, a really large number. Your calculator might not be happy about this and give you something funny, but we should get I have room for it. Two, three, and then we should have zero, zero, one, two, three, one, two, three. We should have nine places after me, after this here. So it should be three, three, and three to get to the two. So that's what we get for milligrams. And that means there's hundreds, thousands, millions, billions. There's 2.3 billion milligrams in 2.3 tons. So, your calculator may also have told you something like this, 2.3 times 10 to the ninth, and that means the exact same thing, that there's nine places after that. You should stretch that number out with nine more, nine more spots behind it. Okay, looking at this next one, if we want to convert 923 milligrams into kilograms. So let's think about that. 
Am I going from a small unit to a big unit, or from a big unit to a small unit? Milligrams is small. I'm going to kilograms, which is big. So I need, think I need to be doing division here, going from small to big. And how many steps do I have to take? Well, for milligrams, I'm going to go from milligrams into grams into kilograms. So I need to do two big steps there. So that's going to be two, sorry, 923 divided by 1,000 to get me into grams, and then divided again by 1,000 to get me into kilograms. My answer here is going to be a really small number. 0 0.000923 kgs. So that's not much of a whole kilogram. And again, I should expect that because milligrams, I need a thousand of those to get to one gram, and I need a thousand grams to get to one kilogram. So if I'm not even at a whole gram yet, I'm not going to be very much of a kilogram. So again, here I'm going from small units to big units, so I'm going to divide. In the next example, converting grams into milligrams. I'm going from grams to milligrams. Now grams are bigger, there's more, they're, they're larger unit there, so here I'm going to times. Going from big to small, I'm going to times. And from grams to milligrams, that's only one step. So I'm going to do 57 times 1,000. I should get 50,000 milligrams. And that should make sense. There's a thousand gram, sorry, a thousand milligrams in every gram, and if I have 57 grams, I'll have 50, 57,000 milligrams. So watching what happens there, if I go from grams, which are large, down to milligrams, which are small, I times, because there's lots of little ones inside of there. Next one was going from little to big, I need to divide, because there's not much of the little ones in the big one. Going from big to little, Again here I was times in. Going from big to little, again times in. And going from grams to kilograms, that's little to big, I was dividing. So anytime you go up the scale, you need to divide, and anytime you're going down, you need to times. And if you have to go between more than one step, you've got to times every time you go along a step. So again, going from tons to milligrams, I times by a thousand, I times by a thousand, and I times by a thousand again. So be careful with those and just think about how many steps between you have to take and make sure you remember that for mass, for the main measurements we use for mass, the milligram, gram, kilogram, and ton, there's a difference of a thousand between each of them, so the steps are always the same size, a thousand between each.